Well, hello everybody. This is Reagan, your RV Traveler's Voice. We're getting Fred and Ethel all loaded up for another round of out and about. So uh, anyway, uh, got a little bit of preventative maintenance and uh, general maintenance to do today as we load things up. I'll give you a sneak peek behind the scenes at some of the things that go on as we get Ethel and Fred ready to go. Stay tuned. And one thing we're gonna try and take care of today before we head out on our next adventure is uh, making some adjustments to the U dinette table support. It uh, currently sits a little bit far back, and as you can see, for people to get in and into the U, basically the bar is in the way. So we're gonna see about moving these supports out a bit and still keep the table relatively level so things don't roll off of it. Now that we've got all the measurements made, we're going to take the screws out. There are six screws holding each of these cleats in place. We're going to take them out and slide them out. All screws out and the cleats just uh, come right off. Have a little indention in the carpet, but uh, we'll fluff up the carpet. As you can see, I've already done that on the previous, where the previous cleat was setting, so can't really tell where's that. All right, we've got it now positioned further out. With plenty of clearance. And we have located place for the cleats. If you're doing this you just want to make sure you check to see right about here is the edge of the slide out flooring. So uh, these holes are about an inch back from the edge but with the other four screws in there it still should hold it fine. So about an inch from the edge that's about as far as I want to risk it getting close to that slide out edge. And then we, we have position the back support in the appropriate place. And now we're gonna screw the hole, screw the uh, cleats in. And as we screw these in, just wanna give a quick tip, just don't tighten them too tight. So you strip the wood out. So we have the, the clutch on the drill set appropriately. Cleats are in the new location. We're gonna put the table on and see how it works. All right, now that we've got the base in place, the new location, the uh, the flooring sits up a little bit higher towards the edge of the slide out. So it makes the, the table, it's kind of hard to see here, but the table tilts back to about a half inch lower on the back side than the front. And so we're going to push in underneath the tabletop between it and the top cleat. 
to account for that half inch of drop. So that when you put things on the table, uh, they don't automatically roll off or slide off. You can see a little bit more pronounced when you look at it uh, across the top there. There is a little bit of a an angle, so we're going to try and fix that. And to account for the half inch tilt at the back of the table, we're going to put a piece of 3 8 inch plywood on the back cleat. And we're going to trace out the dimensions of my cleat here and cut it out and see how it works. cut out perfect fit for our cleat now we're gonna mark and pre-drill some pilot holes so that we don't split the wood as we go through let's make a little circle here Okay, I got the pilot holes drilled and a little bit countersunk so I can pull the heads down flush. And you'll see I'm doing this with a manual screwdriver here so as not to overpower and strip the threads. Now that's attached. We're gonna set our cleat on here, offset. To, uh, to split the difference between the screws that are holding on the shim. And we're gonna mark and drill a few pilot holes here as well so that we don't uh, split the wood as we go through it. And just like with the other screws, we're putting them in with the manual screwdriver to make sure we don't strip the threads. All right, now we've got it all tightened up. We're time to try it out, see how she looks. Got it installed. Let's uh, do the ultimate test here. We're going to measure the front of the table. It's about eight and a quarter. And the back of the table. It's about eight and a quarter. So overall, I believe we have success, but we won't fully judge that until we give it a good road test. But right now, it looks a lot better, and I think we can fully utilize our the U portion of our dinette.